how to maintain celibacy for one full year. Vishwash, this is a video for you. Be blessed by the Divine. This is Krishmurli Ishwar from SimplifiedKundaliniYoga.com and I also maintain another website called KayakalpaYoga.com so it's important that I mention both in this video because I'm going to be referring to both while I answer to Vishwa's question. I'm sure this question is an important question for many of you. And thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber of our growing Kundalini Yoga YouTube channel and the Facebook channel. Celibacy. Let's define what is celibacy. In our body, the food that we eat becomes juice only one portion of it rest of it gets absorbed and it comes out as toxins a portion of the juice becomes blood a portion of the blood becomes tissues tissues become bone fat bone uh, fat fat becomes bone bone becomes marrow marrow becomes the vital fluid in the cerebrospinal area this is what our guru yogira shri vedatri maharishi ha has told us and this vital fluid in the cerebrospinal area descends after the age of maturity around 14 years of age for both men and women as it descends through the spine collects in the seminal vesicle, the so-called the sexual gland of both men and women there is an urge to evacuate it to release it from our body and that urge is called the sexual urge so both men and women seek comfort in each other and want to eliminate, ex ex excrete in this excess fluid that got collected in the seminal flu uh, fluid uh, sac, the so-called the sexual gland. And this urge to evacuate is quite normal for anybody above the age of 14. However, till the age of 21 or so, we do not have excess fluid in our body to throw away indiscriminately therefore between age 14 and 21 in our system particularly the east indian system in our culture in our customs in our families we were taught certain disciplinary practices during this age called as brahmacharya age the celibacy age in this period we were taught certain practices if you study the underlying principle behind all these practices they all come under a single categorization called transmutation the idea is to transmute the sexual energy to spiritual energy, social energy, creative energy and drive ourselves towards a larger goal and a purpose beyond ourselves. So to do that, we were taught that in certain yogic practices, one such yogic practice that has been taught to us by our Guru Yogira Shri Vedatri Maharishi is the Kaya Kalpa Yoga. Kaya is body, Kalpa is immortality. Kaya Kalpa Yoga therefore is body immortality yoga. By practicing Ashwini Mudra and Ojas breathing, both taught during the Kaya Kalpa Yoga classes in any of our Sky Yoga centers worldwide, we also teach this online in kayakalpayoga.com. You can learn it at the comfort of your home. And I'm available over um, Skype or any other video calling facility to teach you this over the internet. You learn this and in the process you tone up the nervous system and transmute the sexual energy into spiritual energy. Essentially transmute the sexual vital fluid that has descended to the seminal vesicle back to the cerebrospinal area thereby increasing the quality and the quantity of the cerebrospinal vital fluid which increases your life force carrying capacity of the body which will increase directly in a proportional quantum and in proportional quality 
the biomagnetic intensity of your body and mind which gives you the will power to succeed in anything that you want to succeed gives you immunity gives you youthfulness perhaps even gives you the ability to postpone death to suit your wishes so kayakalpa yoga is therefore extremely potent and highly beneficial if you would like to maintain celibacy so step number 1 learn kayakalpa yoga practice on a regular basis there are um, three postures in the morning three postures in the evening and then during the course of the day there are a few postures that are taught during lunch and during a meal or having a cup of a drink or when you go to bed and so on and so forth now all of these are very easily possible to follow very easy to follow it only takes about 3 4 minutes in the morning 3 4 minutes in the evening totally it will take about 10 minutes throughout the day and it directly transmutes your sexual energy into spiritual energy this yoga had been kept as a secret for thousands of years with our guru's blessings it has now come out in open for anybody to learn and practice this easily at the comfort of their home must be practiced only after they attain the physical maturity and not before nobody below the age of 15 should learn they should complete 14 years and when they start the 15th year they can start learning this this particular kayakalpa yoga up to the age of 70 you can practice and benefit from this yoga after that the benefit is not so much accrued to you and it will be less and less useful after the age of 70 you can still practice there is nothing wrong in practicing beyond 70 but not highly beneficial the best is to practice start learning this and practicing it when you are 15 years old and from there till you get married and after you get married till the age of 50 or so if you practice you will find that extraordinary benefit coming out of this kayakalpa yoga so step number 1 kayakalpa yoga step number 2 <clears throat> learn to discipline your body when i mean discipline our body learn to do your exercises regularly learn to moderate food in yourself learn to withdraw your mind away from senses focus your mind on your life force kundalini shakti particularly at the higher chakras agna duryam duryadi the chakra and the other chakras regularly practice kundalini meditation such that you practice pratyagara the ability to withdraw your mind away from sensory sensual pleasures and sensory or organs and sensory sensations by practicing withdrawal you will be able to remain one with your dhyana state your life force kundalini energy state by staying in that state you have consciously chosen to get rid of your sin imprints and when you do that your mind becomes subtle it goes to alpha state of the mind you remain calm and peaceful and you remain one with the almighty state in that state only peace prevails in your heart there is no pleasure there is therefore no pain pleasure in excess pleasure in a wrong way leads to pain so pain is completely avoided the mind does not seek pleasure it seeks peace peace can only be perceived and preserved within the mind when the mind is focused on its own life force energy at the various chakras only at the alpha level of frequency between 8 and 13 the mind can accept and understand and realize a peaceful state of mind faith is important before you start understanding faith starts by finding your kundalini yoga master we have 14500 such masters around the world all professors and we have 2500 centers one of us can help you to guide you in this path of meditation 
So I know Vishwas who asked the question for this video is already a meditator. So meditate regularly Vishwas that will really help you to remain calm in your mind. Step number two. Step number three is focus on a larger goal in life. Tell yourself that for the next one year, if that is what your interest is, the next one year you are going to focus on a larger goal, something that is bigger than yours. Don't just focus on your personal ambitions and goals, but focus on something which is beneficial, say for instance for your parents. So take something which is important for your family, take something that is important for the society maybe if you can. When you focus on such larger goal and work towards it on a minute by minute basis and tell yourself that you are remaining celibate for you to achieve that larger goal in life, then automatically your mental energies will get transmuted into this social cause and that will certainly help you. Point number three. Point number four is you have to control your blood, heat and air circulation throughout your body. Especially you should learn how to control the blood circulation into your reproductory organs. To do that, Kayakalpa Yoga will help you. Also, our simplified physical yoga systematized and given to us by our Guru Yogiraj Sri Vedatri Maharishi will certainly help you. The acupressure, the, uh, then the uh, relaxation, the reflexology practices, the Maharasana, hand exercises, leg exercises, eye exercises, more importantly the neuromuscular breathing exercises. All of these exercises are designed to help you master over your heat, blood and air circulation. If you are able to control blood circulation from going to your reproductory organ, if you are a male, your penis, if you are a female, your uh, urethra, your vagina and your uh, pelvic area, uh, clitoris and all those areas if you are able to control the blood flow, then the sexual urge can very easily be transmuted and controlled. And to do that, you have to master over the blood, heat and air circulation throughout the body. At will, you should be able to send uh, the um, circulations and control the circulation at various parts of the body. Understand though that this is very easily possible with only a few days of practice. The last but not the least, moderate your food habits and your lifestyle habits. I will put them under lifestyle habit. The food habit is part of the lifestyle habit. Uh, but if you follow a whole food plant based diet, particularly the one that we recommend in nutritionscience.in, I will provide the link in the description below and you can click there. There is a, I think a 21 day free um, email course that we have you can sign up for it or you can come for our uh, diet workshop and you can learn how to follow that. That will also help you to regulate your body and remain healthy and strong. As part of the food, I would also recommend that you take a conscious choice not to stimulate the nerve endings of your body. Throughout the body, there are millions of nerve endings from head to toe. You try and avoid neural stimulation, the nerve stimulation in the body. If you are able to withdraw your mind, practice Pratyagara through Kundalini Yoga, then you should also be able to take a Sangalpa, an affirmation, not to stimulate the senses. If the, the, the nerves are not stimulated, if your mind is focused on the alpha level at the Durya Chakra, at the various uh, Kundalini Chakra methods that we have taught you and your food is controlled and your lifestyle is properly maintained and your blood circulation particularly along with heat and air circulation are regulated throughout the body, extremely easy it is for you to remain celibate not just for one year 
throughout your life it is possible but please understand that you must practice kayakalpa yoga without fail on a daily basis ask prescribe if you have any doubts feel free to contact me if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments in the video section if you like this video please like it comment on it share with your friends and let this knowledge of the kundalini yoga and kayakalpa yoga reach to the world Thank you so much Vishwas for asking this question. I thoroughly enjoyed answering this question answering for this question to you. If you have any other questions, if any of you have any other questions, feel free to comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Be blessed by the divine.